What is up, everybody? Back with some more Scarlet and Violet Regulation D slash E, I guess, of EGC. We got a really cool team here today. I wouldn't really consider this team like a Regulation E team because there's not really anything new with the Teal Mass DLC on this team and all those mods that got transferred over. This was a team I was going to actually record a session for like a week ago already, and I got, ended up getting sick and it kind of got pushed back until now. So. This team is still really cool. It's a physical explosion, Terra Normal, Reggie Alecki team with a bunch of other really cool stuff. Uh, Sash, Flutter Man, Throat Spray, Offensive Fragraph, and a bunch of other cool stuff. So if you guys like these videos, leave a like, subscribe, share the video. I'm going to quickly go through a team recap of this. We're going to have a few games for this session with this team. Really cool team. Now, the main star of this team is actually a, a explosion, Terra Normal, Reggie Alecki. Uh, which can actually be paired alongside the Flutter main, or even switched into the Flutter main the, the turn you explode. To pretty much either one shot or like two shot everything on on your opponent's team and get a double down on like turn one or turn two. So really, really cool. I've not seen it used much yet, and I'm surprised we've not seen like Terra Normal Explosion Reggie Lucky use that much up until this point. I think it's like the only team that I've really seen use it. So. Uh, Dragon Fang, Reggie, Drago, really solid with Terra Steel. It's kind of a really standard set. Uh, safety Goggles or Shifu, kind of like something that it's... I wouldn't say it's an Amoongus check, but you're not able to be put to sleep, which is what a lot of people like to do with or Shifu most of the time, especially if they're running Amoongus or that type of stuff. And then you got an Offensive, Terra Grass, uh, Fragorath, mainly the Terra Grass, so you just don't get put to sleep by Amoongus, I think. So with the Trick Room, Helping Hands, pretty standard set. Sash Flutter Main, really standard. Also has Trick Room. If if you're going against a Trick Room team, a lot of people don't expect Flutter Main to really be carrying Trick Room. You can also reverse the Trick Room uh, if you're getting played into a, a Trick Room type team, which is te this team kind of does struggle with. So they got the Tornadoes with Rain Dance, Scary Face, but a really standard set. So you guys like this team? I did not create this team. It's actually a team that was created by a top VGC player about like a week and a half ago. Like I said, I'm kind of late to playing this team because I got sick uh, over this past week and I got really behind on recording videos for you guys. So depending where you guys are seeing this, I probably won't be for another few days, but I'm actually able to record again because I'm feeling a lot better. So apart from that, let's get hop into some matches with this team and I'll see you guys in game number one. All right, we are here with match number one. My opponent has a really scary team with Alola, Nine Tails, Articuno, Heatran, Iron Hands, uh, Driplin, which if you guys not know, Driplin actually can hold EVO Light, which makes it extremely bulky, and then Landers. So a lot of these matches you guys are going to be seeing as well are going to be like versus probably like a lot of testing like Regulation E teams, even though this team necessarily isn't really like a Regulation E team. So. What do I bring here? Reggie Leggy looks great here. It really does. It's pretty damn good. I'm actually going to lead Reggie Leggy here. I think that's my lead. Reggie Leggy. I don't know if I'm going to go into the lead with the uh, Flutter Main actually here. I don't think I'll lead Flutter Main because I, I think he's going to bring the, the Iron Hands here as well. Oh, do I have Weather on this thing? I do have Rain Dance. I do want to bring this so I can get rid of his weather. I might actually just leave this, actually, because I think he's going to lead Nine Tails. I'm going to lead the Tornadoes, and then I'm going to bring the Flutter Man in the back in case I want to explode turn one. And then I'll bring the uh, Thirst Sheaf, who's a pretty solid pick here. And if you guys like these videos, leave a like, subscribe, share the video. Really appreciate it. And I was recording earlier too, and my entire t switch went black on me. Like the entire thing shut off, and it went into handheld mode, and like it started making a grinding sound earlier too. And I could barely get it hooked back up to like TV, like TV mode. So I think my switch is really on the way out, y'all. I really do. So just just a reminder that I do have channel donations on because uh, if, if my switch happens to drop and the thing goes goes dud, like I'm gonna try to keep it going. Hopefully it survives for another year until the Switch 2 gets released, but if not, like, I'm gonna have my entire channel made with stuff with the Switch console, so if it drops and it ends up dying on me, it's gonna be really bad. So I think my Switch is on its last legs, y'all. 
is making a grinding sound and the fan I think is jammed or something because the battery is all degraded and the whole back of it's popping out so I'm gonna explode here y'all I actually I'm gonna I'm gonna protect I'm gonna protect this turn and then I'm gonna actually rain dance here He might fake out the Tornadus because he might think I'm going to try to get set up the weather. He does fake out the Regilecki, so that's great. So he's unable to set up a Aurora Rail. Great turn for me. What a great turn for me. Now here's what I'm going to do, y'all. He has nothing that outspeeds me here. He has no Aurora Veil. I'm assuming that Ninetales is probably Focus Sash. Either Focus Sash or Light Screen here. So I'm going to tear a normal explode here. I'm going to make a crazy play and then I'm going to double out into the Flutter Main for the Tornadus. Let's we'll see if this works. I don't know. I just wanted to remind you guys as well. Like I do have channel donations on. So if you guys do want to throw me a couple bucks, all the, all the money that that the channel makes for monetization and even like donations all that goes back into the channel so in case my switch does die on me i have money to maybe buy another one for temporarily use for like the next year i can keep making content for you guys and i thought i'd just throw that into this video because in case videos quit stopping recently or they randomly stop and i'm un un unable to upload anything else you guys probably know why he actually swaps out into the Driplin here. So the Driplin is about to get one-shotted. I don't think you're living, bro. I think he's about to get one-tapped on both of his models. Let's see if this kills both. Goodbye! Holy fuck! <laughs> Holy shit. Goodbye. I mean, I'll take I'll take trade two for one. That's fine by me. That's great. That is great. So we know he has iron hands as well in the back. So I'm gonna leak out into the Urshifu here. I have my rain up. I don't have Terra anymore, but I should be able to put in some work. He doesn't have to rail anymore either, unless he has self-proc hail on his Articuna, which usually you don't because you have you need all four of your moves to have a really solid set, so. I don't know, I just detect here. He's gonna try to fake me out again. I'm just gonna detect here. I don't think he tear it either. He might tear it this turn. I don't know. I'm not really even afraid of the Articuno here. I, I, I kinda wanna get rid of the Articuno just mainly because it might do a shit ton of damage, but. And I still got a Tornadus in the back that can maybe do some stuff. He just forfeits. He just forfeits. He's like, oh man, I, I just got outplayed. I'm done. Young and Hung got, got absolutely f this shit on. What a name is that, too? Like, what kind of name is that? You name your trainer name that? Young and Hung? Okay. Really weird name. Get you what you're going for, but I don't know. We'll see you guys in game number two. We're off to a really good start with this team. All right, we're here with game number two. My opponent has a really cool team, but he has a, I think that's a Zamazenta or a Zacian or whatever that is on his team. That's kind of the bad thing about playing casuals. People are allowed to bring legends for casuals. You don't get it every single game, but once in a while you have teams that have these broken ass legends on them. Uh, Hisui and Arcanine or Shifu. Empoleon, Alolan Raichu, very interesting. Especially when he has no terrain on his team, which is really weird. Uh, Suian Zoroark, and I think that's Sabna's Enter, Zacian, whatever, which one? Doesn't matter. I see one Ghost type on his team, which is kind of a, a, a bummer because I want to just blow up on everything. I don't know. Shifu is a bit of a threat here, actually. I don't know what this this thing actually is. Is this max speed? It's not. It doesn't have any speed investment either. It's mainly a more of a bulky Reggie. 
I think I'm going to leave Tornadus Reggie Drago here, because he does not, he, he has one, I guess the, the Zamazenta is a fairy type, I forgot it, if it is. I think that might be a fairy type. Oh, the Urshifu looks really good here, I gotta bring the Urshifu, and then I think I bring the Flutter Maid in the back. Unfortunately, I'm not able to bring the, the Reggie Electi here, because he has a lot of resist to explosion, and he has a lot of uh, immunities. Oh. Too many steel and rock types, and he has a ghost type. Three out of the six things he has resists or is immune. Actually, Zacian. I forgot what it was, but it's kind of bad for me because now I can't really hit it for any damage because it's, it's a fairy type, so it's a fairy steel type. I'm about to get blown back, actually. I don't really have anything for Zacian, if I'm being real with y'all. I, I really don't. Zacian, he brought the Zacian because it destroys my team. That's why. And Zacian just destroys my entire team. Pretty bad. I mean, I can Tailwind here and I can maybe kill the Urshifu. I actually have Earth Power here. Maybe Earth Power. See how much Earth Power does. I think with a Tailwind, I should be able to outspeed it. I do. How much an Earth Power do does doesn't even do half. It doesn't even do half. I'm I'm gone. Goodbye. Reggie Drago, you're, I'm I'm disappointed in you, bud. Maybe I should just went for Dragon's Maw and I would have killed Urshifu right away. Maybe that's what I should have did. Going to my own Urshifu here. I'm gonna try to get rid of the Zamazenta here and just maybe set up a Rain Dance. I don't know. I don't know if a Rain Dance will even if I really need it here because I don't want to buff his own Zamazenta on his team. I think I maybe just go for a Bleak Wind Storm here. I don't know if a Surging Strikes will actually kill. I think I'm just gonna tear a water. I'm gonna tear a water here and try to Surging Strikes the Zamazenta or the, the Zacian. I've been a lot of people ask me too, like where like my teams are, like that I've I create. Yeah, uh, like I, I do have a team that I or a mod that I do want to build around. But I'm kind of just waiting for like the meta and like all the new mods to kind of settle down, see kind of what people are running first. I have some ideas and I'm starting to create some stuff. But like for like my first VGC team, for like a regulation E team made by me, like I, I really just want to wait until the meta kind of settles down a little bit and see what people are running and like some of the newer mods being introduced uh, what they're running in a lot of the builds before I start making stuff. I do have some teams on the way though. Some singles teams and uh, some uh, some of uh, a few regulation E VDC teams. I have one that I'm going to start making. I have a bunch of other ideas and mods and stuff I want to kind of build around so in the future. So. Looking pretty good here. We got their Shifu's pretty much dead. Zacian's gone. Let's see what else he has. I'm ho hoping he has the Arcanine, which he does. It's great. He might tear this thing, though. I wouldn't be surprised. I think I just Bleak Wind Storm here again, and I just go for Surging Strikes. He's probably going to Terra. He might Terra here. He doesn't. He does not tear up. So we get rid of the Urshifu, that's great. And you're not living a Surging Strikes, bro. I think this might actually just like one tap him from this range. It's four times effective. Yeah, you're gone. Goodbye. And I kind of wish I would have been brought the Reggie Alecki here, but at the same time, I'm glad I never did. Because with the mons that he brought, like, Explosion Regieleki would have done nothing to him, so... We made the right choice of not bringing the Regieleki here, which is good. Oh, he actually has Empoleon. This is actually the first time I've seen Empoleon actually in battle, since it's got added to the game. It looks pretty cool. 
props to Game Freak with a lot of the models they brought over too. A lot of the models they actually improved upon uh, bringing over from like Sword and Shield. They look a lot better, most of them. I never played Sword and Shield, but just looking at some of the models and like what people posted and stuff, they do look a lot better. They've improved the models and the 3D models and everything. The lighting and the colors looks a lot better. He doesn't even Terra. I don't know what he's saving his Terra for. I guess he's saving his Terra for the next game. Either that or he's just Terra Water and he just doesn't bother. Whatever. I'll, t I'll take another win. Not bad. We played really good. We deserve the win. It's fine by me. Zalshin was a bit of a threat there, though. If that thing would have got rolling, it would have swept me. Because I don't have anything for that typing. Steel Fairy type for this team is really difficult to deal with. Not bad. I don't know how many matches I'm going to throw into this video for you guys, but I'll see you in the next match. Alright, we're here with game number three. This is going to probably be the biggest test so far for this team. Because my opponent actually has one of the new legendary mons on his team, Ogre Pond. And a bunch of other really crazy shit on his team. He has Ogre Pond, Rillaboom... With the boosted new Grassy Glide edition. And Alolan Ninetales Iron Bundle. Uh, Urshifu and then Friend Guard Clefairy. Which is I haven't seen or played against once yet. So, Good thing is he has no ghost types. He does not have any ghost types here actually. So I think what I do here is I actually lead Tornadus. I get my Tailwind up. Or I, I guess I can lead Tornadus. So if he wants to lead with his uh, Ninetales I can get rid of his his weather. I think that's my play. I'm going to bring the Flutter main in the back in case I want to explode and make some plays off that. The Reggie Drago looks pretty good here too, but this comes down to what he brings. I don't know. He has a lot of ice types. I think that the Ogre Pond, I think that's the fire type one. So... I don't know. It's kind of a toss of what I bring for the last Mon here. It really is. It really is. I think I'm going to try to bring the Drafari here. See what happens. Or the Frigorath, I guess. Frigorath, not Drafari. That's the pre evo. Have you guys got the DLC as well? Let me know how you guys are enjoying the DLC or if you're ready to finish it. She leaves with this, so this is actually perfect right here. This is actually perfect. He's actually a speed booster. Speed booster, uh. Iron Bundle. I don't, does this thing have any speed? I don't have. I have a little bit of speed. I don't know if there's actually enough speed to actually outspeed a plus one bundle, though, but I'm gonna protect here, anyways. I'm going to protect turn one, and then I'm going to set up Rain Dance so he can't get up his Aurora Veil. That's my play here. He's actually a Terra Grass. Terra Grass Iron Bundle. That's the first time I've seen a Terra Grass Iron Bundle. I mean, I guess it makes sense if you want to dodge electric moves. But, like, a lot of people with Reggie Alecki, like, they expect, like, that it's full-on, like, you support. Or, like, the offensive support set with, like, Electro Web and Thunderbolt and shit. They don't expect a physical, like, Terra Normal Explosion build. The main thing. So, right now, I'm, what I'm going to do is I'm going to... He goes for the Aurora Veil here, and it fails, which is great. So... I think what I do here is I think it's time to explode everybody. I think it's time to go boom. I'm going to tear a normal explosion here and then I'm going to make the double out into Flutter Main just like the first match. That is my play here. We're going to see if I actually outspeed the Iron Bundle at plus one though. I, I don't know. I'm assuming this EVs it has just enough to outspeed a bundle at plus one. Hopefully it does because otherwise this entire set is going to be bad and I'm about to get blown back and probably killed. He 
actually outspeed me. Oh, I live! I live! I live! Goodbye. Okay, so that's one one flaw in this team is that it, the Reggie Alecki does not have enough speed to outspeed a plus one iron bundle, which kind of sucks. Uh, that, that's one flaw with this team. I don't know if that was a, a blunder on this team or if it's only a maybe it's only has enough EVs for like maybe like a modest speed boost iron bundle. Maybe he's timid speed boost. I'm not 100 sure. It could also come down to the natures, but that could have went way worse. Can easily eat a blizzard here. That's no biggie. I think I have the Tailwind still up as well, which is pretty damn good here. This team is really fun to use. It is one of the really fun teams to use. I think this is the fire type version, I think. It's super effective on him, so what is he fire what what typing is he? He's fire grass, okay. I don't know, I think I have tailwind up, don't I? I don't have tailwind up. No, I don't. So he'll outspeed me. I got a tailwind here, unfortunately. I mean all dazzling gleam here. All dazzling gleam and Tailwind. He's gonna withdraw the nine hills to get his snow back up. It's cleft great, okay. I just need damage on a lot of his stuff. If I can get damage on both these mons, I should be able to win still. He sits up a sub. Okay. Whatever. I mean, I guess it makes sense with the friend guard, so you're a lot more bulky, so you can set up a sub. I, I don't know. The same time here, I guess. Like, I still have two spread moves, so like, this, I'm still going to be able to break a sub here, hopefully. And it doesn't break a sub, though, but I'm almost able to kill the Clefairy. Which is great. I don't know what he has to set up with. I, I know it gets sword stance. I Ivy Deluge. What the fuck does that do? I don't know. I know it's a signature move. I don't know what it really does. You guys gotta bear with me. A lot of these new legendary mons, I barely know their names, let alone their types and their abilities, like what they really have, so. I just bleed Windstorm again. He's just gonna forfeit. He's just gonna forfeit. Why? Why would you forfeit when you have still a really solid chance of winning? Why? He didn't even know my last Mon. You don't even know what else my last Mon is. You, you could have had a Mon in, in the back that would have been really easy for you to defeat. You still could have had a chance to win. Why? I don't know. Really anticlimactic uh, end of this match. I don't know. I thought he was going to stay in the game and try to win. He still had a really solid chance to win, but whatever. I'll see you guys in one more match. <laughs> okay, la last match for this session, y'all. Uh, we we're going against a team with Mariadon and a bunch of uh, Quark Drive stuff, so that's going to be fun. Charizard, Garchomp, Iron... I forgot what, what Iron Thorns, I think that is. Maridon, Iron Hands, and then Lycan Rock Midday. He has a really bad Ice Weakness. Really bad Ice Weakness. Really bad Dragon Weakness. Really bad Fairy Weakness. So I'm going to take advantage of that. No Ghost Types. He only has two Resist to Explosion. So I think what I'm going to do here is I'm going to leave Reggie Alecki and Flutter Main and I'm going to explode turn one. I think that's what we're going to look at here. Actually, I guess I can maybe, I might need to get my Tailwind up for the Mariadon, actually, so. Okay. 
And I'll, I'll bring the tornado second and then the flutter main third. I don't know. I think Urshifu looks pretty good here as well. I think that's a solid last Mon to bring. I don't know what he's going to bring versus me. Actually, I just realized that Lycanroc's only level 48, so... If he brings that, we got a free kill on our hands, because it's at a two-level disadvantage for some reason. Or just a spoiler, if you guys have made it this far, too. I should have another session going up with a team built around Coma O uh, with the next couple days as well, so... If you guys do not want to miss that, subscribe, because that's a little bit of a spoiler for you guys that made it this far. Leads Garchomp and whatever, what is this? Charizard. I just, I just go boom. I go boom here. I go boom. Uh, turn one explosion. I don't think anything on his side lives unless it's focus sash. He's taking a long time to choose. He's really thinking about this choice. Got some new drip to it on my avatar or whatever as well. I got the the one million dollar uh, Tommy suit or whatever that is. Shelled out a million bucks for that. It looks absolutely dope. Probably the best outfit in the entire game with the DLC releasing. See what we do here. He's actually gonna tear himself. What are you, Terra Steel? What Terra are you, bro? Terra Fire. Well, that doesn't matter. You're still dying. Unless you're Focus Ash. I don't think you're living. He rage quitted. He just rage quitted on me. The instant he saw explosion, you know, he's gone. He's gone. He is gone. This is what this team does to people, y'all. This is what this team does. Instant rage quit. The instant he saw explosion, he's like, oh, I'm gone. Wow. You know, I, I thought this was going to be the last game, but with how short this match was, I'll give you guys one more match because this was just, a, it was mainly me actually choosing moves and the team. I think that lasted longer than this match, so I'll still include this in the video, but I'll give you guys one more game at the end. Alright, we're going against like a... I wouldn't say it's a really a rental team, but a very standard Regulation D team. Cress, Ursaluna with the Hisuian Lilligan, Torkoal, and then he actually has Ampharos, and then Quaquavel, which are a little bit out of the ordinary, but still pretty, pretty common. I wouldn't say the Ampharos is really common, but Quavo you see once in a while. I think, what what do I do here? He has no Ghost type either, which is great here. I think what I do is I lead Regieleki, I, I lead the Tornadus, I bring the Flutter Main in the back again. If he wants to set up his Weather, then I can just Rain Dance away and then protect turn one. I think that's what I can do. Does this thing have Taunt? I don't think this thing has Taunt. I don't have Taunt for Trick Room to prevent the Trick Room from going up, but I also have Trick Room on the Flutter Main to get rid of it, so. And then in the back, I can maybe bring, I don't know, the the Frigraph looks pretty good here, and then the Urshifu also looks really, really good. I'm going to bring the Urshifu again, though. I think it's really, really solid. He doesn't have any Fairy types either, so I guess I could have maybe brought the, the Regidrago. Problem is, though, it, it gets outsped by a lot of stuff on his team. does lead Torkoal Lilligan, so I think what I do here is I just get rid of his son. That way he can't 
he doesn't outspeed me with the chlorophyll and I get rid of a lot of his damage. I'm gonna protect here and then I'm gonna go for rain dance. My play. Now, if you guys want to play this team, this team is really fun. This is a really fun team. A really solid and a really fun team at the same time, which is really f rare. A lot of the teams are, are either just really fun, but they aren't really that viable, or they're just really, really good, but they're kind of boring to play and they're kind of monotonous to play. This team is kind of has both, which is really great. The sun that doesn't really do much. I don't know. I think I just explode here, y'all. I think it's time to go boom again. Go boom and then have him rage quit on me. I think that's what we do here. I'm going to do it. That's what I'm doing. I think that maybe the, the Lilligant might be Focus Sash. They're commonly with Focus Sash if they're running this type of type of duel. So if he's Focus Sash, he might be able to kill me in return since I'm t Terra normaling. But then again, he does. He might not know that I'm actually like physical explosion build, and he might just go for after you again. So, wow, the Torkoal lives. The Torkoal somehow lived. How do you live? How do you live that? I'll give him. Props, bro. The guy had guts. He lived. He lived. What a pair on that guy. And he eruptions with 5 health. That does 1 damage. He broke my sash, though. I ice cold into tornadoes again. I start bleak wind storming, or I can just tailwind if I really need it at this point. He does have the crest, which is a bit scary. I might actually just double up into the crest. I'm just going to Bleak Wind Storm here, and then I'm going to Shadow Ball into the crest. My opponent's in a tough spot now, because... Like, his Torkoal is pretty much dead here, like, unless he protects, I guess. But then he kind of has to hope to get up the Trick Room. Which isn't really that much of a problem for me, because I can just reverse the Trick Room again. Doesn't even do half. That's crazy. I mean, he's, he might get the Trick Room up here. He might actually get the Trick Room up. Get rid of the Torkoal, but I'm assuming he probably has Ursa Luna in the back. He does get Trick Room up, so... Kind of bad, but not really that bad, because I can also re reverse the Trick Room here. As long as he doesn't have anything that's, like, crazy, that can, like, one-shot me, which... This thing, he, he's probably going to protect here, actually. So if he protects here, like, I'll, I'll just Bleak Wind Storm, and then I'm going to Trick Room. He has to protect. I don't, I don't think the Caress can one-shot a Flutter main from this range. Unless he's like full special attack, which I don't think he is. Because he took did not take much damage from the Shadow Ball at all. He does protect, so... I mean, another crazy play. I'm just outplaying my opponent this match so far. I think that's the main thing. He actually goes for Lunar Blessing. How much health that even... That, Gives him a solid amount of health back. And a Shadow Ball should kill him from this range, though. And then I have the Urshifu in the back still, which is great, so... I just can't let him set up the Trick Room again. That's the main problem. If he sets up the Trick Room one more time and my Flutter Main goes down, then that's going to be a huge issue, because then I'm kind of screwed. Because the Ursa Luna one-shots everything else on my team. And I'm just, I just Bleak Wind Storm again, and then I Shadow Ball here. That's my play. I got Urshifu in the back for the Ursa Luna, so I'm not really worried about it. I know there's Blood Moon Ursa Luna as well, at least when I'm recording this, but I don't think it's actually, like, legal on the ladder yet. So I, or at least in, like, an online play. It might be legal in casuals, but I haven't seen one yet. So, But I know a lot of people are looking to use Blood Moon Ursa Luna on a lot of teams. Is a mod that I really want to use as well. So if you guys have any really good uh, Blood Moon or some Luna Rena codes, let me know. Let me know in the comments down below if that would be something you guys like to see. A session with a Blood Moon or some Luna team. And I'll bring that to you guys' way. Ally switch. Oh no. Oh no. That's bad. 
But he doesn't skip the trick room, though. That's the problem there, so... He maybe can Earthquake me here, but he's not going to kill the Tornadus. And he's not going to get the trick room back, and he doesn't know that I have the Earth, the, uh, the Earth Shifu in the back still, so... He kills the Flutter Man, which kind of sucks. But he has no trick room up, so that was the main thing. If he gets trick room up one more time, he would win. I just can't let him do that. He's kind of forced into a corner here, too. Like, he, he can ally switch again, because now he knows I have our Shifu. He can ally switch again, but then he doesn't get the trick room up again. Or he just tries to trick room and hope he lives. But if he doesn't, then he loses automatically, so... I, don't, I think I just bleak windstorm here again, and then I just surging strikes. He protects. You don't. You don't protect in front of her Shifu, bro. You're, that's, I think that's game. He's trying to get the trick room up again because he knows that's like his only way to win. But I think if the Earth, the Ursa, Ursa Luna drops here, like I still even think if he does get the trick room up, he still loses. He needs to have the Ursa Luna here to actually do damage. The Cresselia can't win this. He just goes for Moonblast. Okay, that's game. That's game. There is no way you can win now, bud. That's game. I just rain dance here, and then I... Surging Strikes, because if I miss the Bleak Wind Storm, that could be a bit of an issue. I know Surging Strikes will kill, I just don't know if, how much damage it'll do. And I know it'll do a lot more in the rain, so that's kind of why I went for it in the rain. Get the guaranteed KO. Not bad. If you guys want to use this team, this team's really good. If you want a really, like, fun to use and, like, a really solid team, especially to climb the ladder, I think this team would be great to climb the ladder with. It's kind of more of an out-of-the-ordinary type team with a lot of really cool stuff on it that you just don't see at all. Really throws your opponent off guard and a lot of other type of stuff. Yeah, you could probably make it to Master Ball if you really played the shit out of this team. I think it's that good. If you guys want to use this team, feel free to. Rental code at the start of the video, you guys go check it out. Like I said, I did not create this team. It's actually a team by one of the, like, the higher tier, like, VGC players that goes to, like, all the, the regionals and stuff. I think it's one of the pro pro players, like, the veteran VGC players created this team, but really solid team by them. If you guys enjoy it, leave a like, subscribe, share the video. I really appreciate it. And uh, I'm going to get out of here. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. Thanks for stopping by, and I'll see you guys in a future video.